what's up everyone welcome to this series of these questions of question 8 november uh, grade 11 mass paper 1 starting with november 2022 and also 2021 and also 2020 please stay tuned on this channel so that you see the difference between the questions that they ask over the years so that you are clued up on what needs to be done all right great stuff so now let's have a look at uh, question 8 it was a probability question with a venn diagram given there let's have a look at the venn diagram below shows the shows the number of learners in grade 11 class who passed uh, mathematics and also physical science all right let's come here and have a look these ones that are here is the ones that pass maths only and then this ones here they're the ones that pass maths and physics and then these ones here they are the ones that pass a uh, physical science only okay these are the ones that pass physical science only and therefore these ones here they're the ones that uh, they are doing none of the of the of the above all right okay so now let's come here and look at the first question the first question at 8.1 it says that calculate the total number of learners in the class okay the total number of learners total would have to be the sum of everything that is on the venn diagram which is 13 plus 7 plus 24 therefore plus 3 which is going to give us a total number of 47 all right this is the total sample space is equals to 47 okay great stuff now let's move on to 8.2 8.2 said suppose that suppose elena suppose elena picked from the class at random what is the probability such that uh, what is the probability that such elena let's come here 8.2.1 what is the probability that such elena passed maths okay it didn't say past maths okay be careful here guys it didn't say past maths only if it says only it's going to be a completely different thing so here which learners pass maths 13 pass maths and also seven pass maths okay it's just that these ones that are seven is they pass both maths and physical science so therefore it's going to be 13 plus seven divided by our total which gives us a uh, 20 all over 47 which is our total there okay let's come here 8.2.2 .2. it says here a uh, learner passed both maths and physical science okay so this ones they pass both maths and physical science okay we're gonna come here and say uh, those who pass mathematics and physical science just as so these are there are these ones here we already said this they pass both pass both here it's going to be uh, 7 over 47 this ones they pass both physical science and mathematics come here 8.2.3 those who pass pass neither maths nor physical science so it means these people these learners they pass none of this ne? they pass none of this all right so it's either they pass they do not pass math and they also do not pass physics so let's have a look at here which ones are those that do not pass is the ones that are outside these ones they pass none of them so hopefully they didn't fail 8.2.4 those who pass mathematics or physics okay those who pass mathematics or physics okay let's come and look at here those who pass mathematics or physical science okay this one guys this one guys is referring to everything because these ones they pass maths okay this ones they pass maths and physics this ones they pass physics only okay so it's everyone is the those who are doing pass maths those who pass both of them and then those who pass physical science only and all in all divided by 47 is going to give us a 44.4 44 over 47 all right therefore 8 8.2.5 now it says that those who pass me only mathematics or physics okay great stuff those who pass only mathematics and physics mathematics only 
and physics only okay so which ones are those is going to be those who are doing mathematics i've already indicated here guys see how simple it is if you know the basics very simple straightforward so it's just going to be 13 plus 24 all over 47 and therefore this should give you an answer of i'm going to write it up here because i'm running out of space it's going to be 37 all over 47 okay and that's how you would deal with a question like this one now let's move on to 8.3 8.3 it says that a smoker a smoke detector system in a large hotel uses two devices which is a and b if smoke is present the probability that it is detected by device a it's eight point it's a 0 0.9 and then the probability that it will be detected by device b it's 0 0.9 the probability that it will be detected by both devices okay this is very important simultaneously is 0 0.94 okay great stuff i think we have got what it takes there eh? We have got all the information. We got what it takes to solve this question. It said that if smoke is present, what is the probability that it would be detected by device A or device B or both devices? Okay. Okay. Let's see. We know that our general formula is probability of A or probability of B is equal to probability of A plus probability of b minus probability of a and b okay so now we are given the probability of a there is 0 0.95 plus probability of b if detected by b only 0 0.98 and then therefore what do we have here we have got the probability that both of them detect it simultaneously so it's the probability of a and b so therefore that will be given by 0 0.94 so therefore if we add everything in our calculator we should be able to we should get uh, we are getting 0 0.99 so therefore this is the probability that a or b or both of them will detect the smoke okay so 8.3.2 it says that what is the probability that the smoke will not be detected okay so if we know the probability that the smoke will be detected by either a or b or by both of them so this is just a complementary so the probability that it will the smoke will not be detected is just going to be the probability of not getting the problem not detecting the smoke okay so it's a complementary so it's going to be one minus the probability of detecting by a or b or by both so it's going to be one minus 0 0.99 which gives us 0 0.01 so very very slim it means these devices are very good if they'd ask us to comment uh, on the these devices and uh, give a comment would we'll say that these devices are very good because this only less than uh, it's only one percent of it not detecting the smoke all right so see you on the next upload guys i am gaston mapalam busy right here with you with mathematics practicing together doing all these papers past papers if you have a comment please leave it in the comment section below if you'd like me to assist you one-on-one -on -one, please check on the description of the channel i will also try to put the my whatsapp number on the description below uh, so that you can be able to reach out to me and i can assist you one on one i am gaston mapala see you on the next upload we will be doing november 2021 20, question 8